already kind of started eating, but <laughs> we are eating curry chicken with some green beans, rice, and got some curry potatoes. Potatoes. I've eaten a lot of my potatoes. I like potatoes. They're good. She hungry, hungry. Show them your plate. His is is different. Looks different than it's mine. It's the same thing. All I did is I put my lentils. Um, which you have on top of my rice and my chicken on top of my rice. Yeah. Because you always, you don't like for your stuff to touch. I don't. Meanwhile, I, just, I don't mind mine being together. Well, like, I like it to touch, but then I like to control my portion that goes in my like Control? In your work. Like, <laughs> oh, I like goodness. to control, like, everything that goes together. Like, it's all separated, but I'm going to take this piece of chicken. Alexa talking to me. You heard her. Oh, yeah. Well. I got my chicken and I want to get like a, like a certain amount of piece of potato, you know, mm, or some rice. I'm blushing. Sorry. <laughs> Meanwhile, I, after looking at the video we posted yesterday, I cannot believe I eat like that. Do this thing one time. Just. It's so good. So y'all ain't gonna catch me smashing on my food like that today, bro. That was embarrassing. Why do you never tell me I eat like that? Maybe. Like a scrub. Good lord. I don't think you eat like a scrub. Cheater. So lint for me. Oh my goodness. I eat like oh jail. I mean he enjoys his food and you should enjoy enjoy every moment of your life to its fullest. And if that means you gotta eat like you ain't never ate before every time you have a delicious meal, eat like that. Oh. This will go like the there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my goodness. In my book, you know, whatever. Do your thing. Where's my painters in the back? I gotta introduce y'all. Okay, y'all ready? See. This is Tracy. This is Keisha, and that's Leticia. My three sisters that I have. There's no black people where we are, so you know, I have made some friends. Shout out to the minorities. <laughs> you know, we changed settings. We're in my house. Yesterday we went pants back to heart. Yeah, out there with the vibes. Yeah, we out here moving and grooving in the in the quarantine, y'all. Oh, but dude. we wouldn't suggest it. We don't really do much, so we don't have cars either. So we're with the we're just Ubering back and forth to his house and my house. But it's fun because he like lives with people, so it's like you ain't seen nobody in like two or three weeks, and you just show up at his house, and it's like the whole crew, people turning up, they in the kitchen, the living room, it's lively. We cook all the time. So yesterday was our first time eating out. Really since, oh well, no. When? We ate out the weekend before. We actually eat out like every Saturday, but for the most part we cook. We ate out, um, we eat like um, a lot of barbecue chicken, barbecue things. What else we eat out for? That was it, huh? We had Chipotle. We do have, Chip we have Chipotle. So in California, they don't have no food spots. But there's one place I like a lot and it's, up the street from me and I walk over there too and they got this fried chicken. Now, you know, I've had some fried chicken, but this fried chicken is actually really decent and I think black people run the spot. So it's really, really good, but it's local. So they are closed like the entire quarantine and I've really been like craving that. Especially been on Lent for 40 days too. That's what oh, I've been yeah. wanting. Could some have fried chicken. Or some fried fish yesterday. Some fish. Mm -hmm. Who said it on? I don't know. Chicken though. <laughs> what we drinking today, people? I got cranberry juice. And I got cranberry juice. <laughs> Stay thirsty. A little splash of Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Cranberry juice with some Sunday, Sunday fun, fun day. day. Okay. Yeah, that's how we doing it. What are you crunching? None. This is Brussels. Oh, yeah. He eat chicken, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> What's your favorite piece of clothing to wear or that you've ever worn? Like, ever. You just have like all of these qualities. It's very comfortable. You look really good. Okay. You felt very confident, very sexy, very much like you was that dude walking into the spot. Like, that guy. Yeah, that guy. But it was also like something that you feel like you could wear like often. But I'm going to say the suit that I wore. For graduation really yeah that was your was, favorite thing that you wore it was a maroon suit it was custom fit to me really like, yeah it was tailored for me oh for your body yeah and then like it's even on my on my inside blazer 
it has my name sewn in it too. Oh. Yeah, so like it's, it's strictly custom made just for me. And so I could wear it in a professional setting, but then at the same time, since it's maroon, like it's a nice little vibe that I can like wear just like on a flashy night on a Friday. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's how I say that'd be mine. I cannot believe it. What you thought I was going to say? Y'all see this man? He likes wearing sweats, gym shorts. I mean, yeah. That's, <laughs> That's all like, the time. I'm surprised. As soon as he comes home from work, he's like taking off everything and putting on some gym shorts and stuff. But Yes, sir. I can see that. Like a suit. You know, I feel like you're sexy saying like, I can feel it. Like what about yours? I don't know. I don't have anything with my name on it. <laughs> I mean, you ain't got to have your name on it. I like to wear I like to wear a lot of dresses okay. dresses to me are so comfortable and I also feel like very cute and girly like I love wearing them I hate wearing pants like jeans and any type of pants mm -hmm. I don't know just on a personal note I just don't they just don't fit they don't fit right to me like what do you mean like any pair of pants I put on they might work like I try them on I'd be like oh I really don't they're not comfortable yeah they just don't make I need to get some tailor-made probably they don't fit. They don't. I don't like the way they feel on me at all. But a dress, you just throw that on. You can do so many things with a dress. It's like a whole outfit. You ain't got to do nothing else. Just throw it on. You know. You ain't got to find no shirt. All you really got to do is find some shoes to go with it, and then that's, <laughs> that's how I go. Okay. So <laughs> we've been in quarantine for uh, about a month now. Okay. What would you say has been your favorite show we've seen on Netflix? To quarantine and chill. Billy on the street on Netflix. So funny. <laughs> that man right there is funny. Like yeah. he literally walking around New York yelling at people. And like I just be waiting for that moment for somebody just to really go off. And I only saw it one time was he just talking to this black girl so crazy, so sassy, like, Well forget you, he cussing at people like strangers. I don't think it's paid acting either. You don't think so? I think it's literally random people. Like in New York. You just in New York. Just walking around you in Times Square and he walk up <laughs> to you with like a microphone and a camera and it's just like in your face. Going off. That's a little intense if it ain't active, bro. What? That's a little intense if it but ain't. That's what I'm saying. But he's just getting away with, like, he literally getting away with that. You know what it is? Probably intimidating. He has his whole little camera crew and all these people around him, so those people don't want to say anything. You know? Yeah. They probably, like, feel scared. But he got a microphone with a cord that's, like, connected to, like, the people that's running up behind him. <laughs> yeah, so I think that when he he, he looked kind of like probably intimidated because he's not by himself with his camera. Because if he was, he would probably get beat up. Like the way he talking to people. Yeah, especially <laughs> people in New York. Like some of them folks be like, "Yo, what you what you got going on?" Like be ready to fight. You remember that that chick said she had four children and she ain't that chick. Don't mess with yeah, her. Yeah, that was that one time she was like, "Who are you getting smart with?" Yeah, everybody else just looks like, "Oh my god," and they just look at the camera like. Is he serious? Mm -hmm. But he be talking to me so crazy, and I love it. That's so much tea. Oh, you know what? Tiger King. Tiger King is the best oh, thing I've seen <laughs> on Netflix. Y'all need to go watch it. That that was crazy. Like you ain't never, and you wouldn't think some of that stuff is fake. But oh my god, Tiger King. That's Who can make that type bro. of stuff up? I mean. My biggest thing is the fact that they were selling tigers for $2,000. Yeah. That's you, it. You're really tripping off of that. I would expect if you're selling an exotic, endangered species that regular Joes can't afford one. I mean, I can save up one pay period, you know, not spend one check, and I could go get me a tiger, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Man, but you gotta think about this man. On I should have been selling them tigers, bro. I would have just bought like five of them and sold them for what they really could have been sold for. Twenty Wait. bands, bro. Where you about to put these tigers? I just gotta sell them before they get a, um grow old, bro. But you about to just have them in your backyard? Yeah, bro, just have them in the backyard. He was doing it. <laughs> no, he had a zoo. He had cages. He a had zoo. a big backyard. It was a zoo. All right, I'll chain them up. You know what I'm saying? If y'all go watch it though, it was the most. Ratchet zoo you ever seen in Terrible, your life. Bro. Terrible. <laughs> it was so good though. He's so crazy. His outfits and everything. For my man, it might be a little eccentric, but a little. He was a little eccentric. I mean, he was he was a gay man, but he was giving me so much life every day. He had on like a sparkle shirt with a um holster with a gun and a cowboy hat. It was a vibe. A whole vibe. Oh my goodness. Your favorite Netflix show we've seen so far? 
Community. I've been watching Community a lot. That's been your favorite show so far? Probably so, as far as a series. Have y'all seen Community? It's good. Yeah. Go check it out. It's pretty good, too. It's a bunch of grown people who go to community college. They don't know what they're doing with their life. They're like 29, 30, and then there's one guy who's like 55 years old, and they pretty much taking like six years in community college. It's so random. I don't know even <laughs> how to compare it, like what to compare that show to, but... I, I, don't, like, I don't like it. I mean, I do like it, so... Mm. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> and so I would say my favorite movie, though, has been The Platform. You remember that? Yeah, you put me I on did that. not know you liked that movie. Yeah, bro. That was pretty good. It was so good. It was a lot going on with that one. I love movies. <laughs> I love movies like that. Like, I would suggest you watch, like, Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. A life changer. Okay. Like, end of the world type of things. But this, so, platform. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all haven't seen it, go see it. It's very, very crazy. And it's like, I don't want to tell them what, it, what it's about. But just yeah, go see it. Yeah, don't tell them. Just know I it's think good. It's, you know what's, what's interesting, though? What I've noticed on Netflix is not a lot of the good, good things, like the good shows that you ain't never seen before, are foreign. So this one was foreign, and then it had, like, voiceovers and yeah, people speaking English on it. But it's really, really good. It was really good, though. I cannot believe you like that movie. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. I like movies like that that just make you be like, oh, my God, what is about to happen? But, yeah. Okay. So what's your favorite Netflix so far? Yeah. What's your favorite thing... <laughs> That we've cooked so far. We've been cooking for four or five weeks straight. Just cooking, 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 cooking. Chicken, fish. I'm trying not to eat red meat, so we're not eating much of that right now. But that's all we do. We just cook that. And we just turn all these different like spices and flavors and sauces and stuff. Trying a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. What's been your favorite so far? So, I would say when you made them home-cooked um, ground turkey burgers. It's something I made? The ground turkey burgers was pretty dope. Really? Yeah, I like those. I know how to make homemade burgers, people don't sleep on it, on the stoves, okay? <laughs> it's good. And then instead of like the french fries, we had just like some roasted red potatoes. Yeah. yeah. That was a good, healthier option meal, and I appreciate it. You appreciate it, baby? Yes, sir. He was like, yeah. I mean, it was almost to the point where, not that you can, but like that you could substitute it for like a regular burger and yeah. it would be just fine. Mm-hmm. But. Oh, something I made? I didn't know that. What about yours? What was your favorite so far? Uh, but I think my favorite has been those wings you made. That yeah. was with the, with the little potatoes on the side. Yeah. I don't know. The way he cooks wings, that, that was a life changer for me. Because I always, if I'm going to like make chicken wings, I'm not frying. They're going in the oven. That's the only way I know how to make wings. But apparently he puts them on the stove. And yeah, he just like a little does, pan sear. Yeah. Pan sear. And you like cook them on the stove and it tastes like, it tastes like the, the stuff that be at the, the restaurant. I don't know if people know that. Like raw chicken, but you just cook it. Not you're not deep frying it. You just searing it on the stove. Leave it. Don't be giving away all oh, my pointers, bro. Jeez. Well, you know. <laughs> Is that a secret? It must be because I had no idea. But that chicken right there. Relax. With some seat with some sauces on it. But buffalo wings galore. Too good. We're done eating. It was really really good. Or whatever. Let me ask you a question. Ask me something. So, top five things that you cannot live without. I can't live without? Without. Ooh. Go. You ain't gonna take this one. Oh, number one. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, shit. Um, <laughs> I think I can live without a lot of things to be honest. I'm, minim I'm minimalistic. Money. Ooh, money. No, no, no. What? The top five things that you have to have. Money. Okay, bet. Money. Then moolah. I have to have money. I think money makes me feel very, very secure. It's ridiculous. Like, I have to have it and knowing that I have enough to take care of myself makes me feel good. Um, My phone, I guess. You know, I hate to say that, but I mean, I guess it's true. You know, when you think about it. I got Uber on my phone. I can do everything on my phone. You know, that's a real basic answer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. Uh, shit. Hell no. You only need three things? I don't, I mean, like, I don't, really, I don't know if I can, I can think I can live without a lot of stuff. Okay. I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Can you answer? You All right, first. so three things then? Yeah. Okay. So, you for sure. 
Oh, I need some interaction. You can't take my answer though. I can't. I can't use your answers. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have me, we're going to have your phone, and we're going to have some cash. Cash. Okay. I think money might be the answer to all problems. Okay. <laughs> um, I would say, definitely my phone, bro, but. Your phone for sure. Him for sure with his phone, I think. Yeah, I need my phone. If I, I need my phone, I don't need it, but I need my phone. Um, my TV. My TV. I think you, I think if you didn't have a TV in your room, you'd be sad. <laughs> Like my it's your, yeah, yeah, my TV. I do TV. be on. T I do be watching TV or I do be on my um phone a lot. Yeah. Um. And my last one. Hmm. Last one. Gotta have a rag. I'm gonna answer it all for you. I know. All you, right. I well know then, you cool. Bet. I like know you. Thanks for answering mine for me. Number five. I don't know. Let's just leave it at three. That's like four for you. Four. Yeah. 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 That's three. It's four. You have, you want to say, you want to say me, but you have phone, TV, and do rag. That's three. Oh, I guess you can't say me, huh? No. You already said phone, though, so you only have two. Phone, TV, do rag. I have three. What else can you not live without? Oh, Lord Jesus. The Lord. And of course. Well, I thought that know, was an exception. You know what's sad? I thought I said money before. <laughs> before I said God. I thought that was. Like a, a, a known fact? Yeah. That and like your family? Is it like no? Like you can't even say that? Ah, uh, don't worry no. about it. That game just, ugh. I feel like we didn't answer it right. I feel like I gave you terrible answers. All right, just, money, let me some money. Can't live without. Like on a day to day basis, like for me to survive, that's how I be feeling. Next game. <laughs> let me think. I want to know what your favorite vacation spot you've ever been to in your life. My favorite vacation spot would probably be when I went to Trinidad and Tobago and I visited my family. Really? Yeah. It was right after I graduated from college. And it wasn't like it was my college gift or anything. Mm -hmm. Like we but we went down for the holidays and we spent all of Christmas and New Year's together. So we was down there for about two weeks. Wow, yeah. Yeah. And so we got to um hang out with some of my cousins that I ain't seen in a long time and then Got to see, you know, a lot of family and just be around that Trinidad type of lifestyle, which is different from out here, you know? Yeah. So it was cool. I was out there for a while, too. So. Vacation. Yeah. What about you? You know what I'm thinking about? My yeah. trip to New York, but I really went up there for an internship. Hey, it's still Does a trip. It count? Or a place. It was, it was crazy because I went up there by myself. And then I went to, like, I went there for, like, two months. But I, like, grew up a lot in that trip, like, when I was young. And I was by myself in New York, and it was like a whole thing. But I really, I really loved it because I don't know. And the people didn't want me to go up there because I was so far away. But that was the first time I just literally just went out somewhere by myself. And I always knew that like, I wanted to like leave like where I grew up from and like go somewhere that was like like I'd never been before, I never really experienced, and the people and the culture and everything. So you liked it more than when you went to Jamaica. No, I love, I love going to Jamaica. But that was, I don't know, I guess it's just for me when I'm thinking about my favorite vacation is something that was like pivotal to me. Okay. It was definitely my trip to New York because also when I was there, like towards the end, like it was really, really great. And then my family came up there and visited me and I was just like, oh my God, y'all just topped it off. And I got to experience it with my family also, not just by myself. So that whole trip was very like memorable for me. I liked it a lot. It was different, you know, like I've been on a cruise before and like that was a really good trip too. But I was always, like, with people taking care of and stuff. Bro, I've never been on a cruise. <laughs> we got to go on a cruise, bro. That'd be lit. We got to go on a, yeah, like, on a turn. Like, the cruise I went on, it was a whole bunch of people. Like, we were, like, probably, like, on, like, the most regular cruise you could think of. You know, like, it wasn't. But what's, like, regular? Like, like carnival? Carnival, yeah. Okay. And it was, like, I wasn't that impressed. Everything in it was very old school to me. Like, I don't know what I thought a cruise was, but that for sure just wasn't it. So when I was on it, I was just like, I mean, it's all right, you know? Yeah. I got a question. Oh, my God, really? So if they would have had a Netflix series about about you, what would it be about? Oh, my God. Like, high level, what would the plot be about? About me? Yeah. Like, what would the series be about? Ariel. Independent woman. Not the title. Like, oh. what's the Netflix movie going or the series going to be about? Like, what's going to be happening high level? Like, if somebody would have been like, ooh, have you seen Ariel the movie on Netflix? And they say, 
I don't know. What's it about? That. I love that. So what would it be about? Um, ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's think about this. Hmm. So do I tell him what I would be personally? What would I be? Fuck. This is a hard question. You know what's not? Just high level. Like, what do high, 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 high level? Like, Initial what would thought. it be about? What would it be about? Ooh, I think I would be... Compared to a movie that's on Netflix right now, what type of movie would you be about? For me, let me just do me while you thinking, because you thinking so in there right now. Yeah, like I hate this. This is... I got, I so, got a series on me, I wouldn't want a movie. I want a series. I do a series and I base it on like dropping cash. Like that's on Netflix. And so a series about me will just be um, each episode, how I go spend ridiculous amounts of money <laughs> on something type that, you know, you don't normally buy on a regular day base. So that's what mine would be about. So. It, oh, what would mine be? Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> mine would be probably like a love story, to be honest. Oh my God. It would be romantic. I would be like, um, <laughs> or who else could I be? Turning up in these streets about me traveling in different places and how my experiences go and the people that I meet. I would something crazy would happen to happen to me. I think mine would be kind of like a suspenseful situation. I would live this regular, regular life, and eventually something crazy would happen, and I wouldn't get trying to figure out how to survive. That would be like so. That so would you be had like a drama. No, like mine's a thriller. A thriller, okay, okay. Like I'm just living, right? And I'm just out here in these streets. So you having a movie or a series? It'll be a movie for sure. I love movie. movies. Okay. A movie for sure, because you gonna see me just be like a bad, like Colombiana. Think about her. Okay, okay. Or like, um, uh, she gave me everything. I don't know anybody else. She was it, and was like a bad person. Yeah, a bad person. <laughs> And so, she was out here like fighting people, and she just had these moves. You, she ain't never dying. That wasn't happening to her. That's what I love. That's gonna be me. So my show is gonna be based off of just having fun, blowing money, just like whatever type of lifestyle. And you gonna have a thriller impacted movie. Yeah. Okay. This is my movie about me. Yeah. Yeah, you gonna you gonna figure out who I am. That's gonna be the T. <laughs> it's gonna be like. I'm gonna be real regular, just real cute with it. And all of a sudden, I'm gonna be with you. I can fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to get myself out of these situations. I don't even know if somebody's attacking me. I don't know if they got a hit out for me because I'm a bad person. I don't know. But that's gonna be like the the general undertone of it all, you know? Mm -hmm. You're gonna fuck with me. Even if I'm the antagonist, you're gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. Thank you. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> That's a hard question to answer. But it's a good one, though, right? That's a really good question. Yeah. That's a really good question. They got me tripping, though. All right. Well, what you think? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, my peoples. 